Hi there Pinball fans, welcome back to the Majestic Pinball YouTube channel, this is James. I'm here again with another wonderful Gottlieb machine. This is a Diamond Lady, it was released in 1988 and they made 2,700 of these and it was designed by the absolute fabulous John Norris. Now this game come in a few runs, um, Gottlieb were experimenting with a different type of playfield back then called a vitrograph, uh, which was basically the artwork painted on the back or the underside rather of mylar and then that was stuck down to the playfield. They did a few machines with that, I think Victory, um, TX Sector, there might be another one as well. Diamond Lady um, generally had a vitrograph playfield. Um, however, this one is not. This is just a regular screen print on a playfield um, like you would see with any other machine. So this is quite an uncommon version of Diamond Lady. Um, I've tried to do a little bit of research into why they did some with a vitrograph playfield and some without. Um, it's thought that this was a, an exchange playfield, so someone who had a vitrograph playfield would have had a problem with it, sent it back to Gottlieb and Gottlieb would have sent you this one. Um, whether that's true or not, we don't know. Well, I don't know, but I'm sure someone does. Someone must know somewhere. So if you have any information on Gottlieb's vitrograph shenanigans, um, especially with Diamond Lady, please do let me know because I would love to know more. Anyway, so this is the more uncommon version of Diamond Lady, so I'll do a flyover of the playfield, um, let you see the artwork. Um, if you've seen a vitrograph Diamond Lady, um, the pictures of the lady all over the playfield and the fireworks and the diamonds are like photorealistic, whereas this is like hand-drawn art. So Diamond Lady is a rather intriguing machine, I think. Um, it's basically all about the drop targets on this game. Uh, it's very drop target focused. If you like shooting for drops, then this is your game. Uh, right from the off you have a skill shot. Most people don't really know this is there. It's happening and people just plunge and random stuff goes on. Um, you have three lights here. So first off on the skill shot you have spot all targets. Now spotting all of the spade targets will immediately drop all of the black spades on the drop target banks revealing the royal flush targets at the back which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, that also activates the uh, ramp to add jackpot letters so whenever you hit all of the spades down doesn't matter if you've got a few diamonds as well as long as all of the spades have gone down uh, the ramp will be lit it'll be the green light down there uh, the ramp will be lit to add a jackpot letter that progresses from game to game so your jackpot values at the back each of those letters will light up uh, once you've spilt all of jackpot you are given the jackpot and that's on a timed mode um, so that just counts down. So whenever you got that lit, try and get as many balls around the ramp as you can. Next up, we have spot uh, top spade targets, which only drops the two um, up on the bank right in the front. Uh, that reveals the ace of hearts target at the back. I'll drop them down for you. That's the target you want to hit. That is lit for 100,000 points a pop. That's only lit for a certain amount of time as well. And you'll know when that's going because you have the insert flashing. After that, you have light spinners. Um, Gottlieb love to base a lot of their gameplay on spinners, um, so if you roll through the in lanes it will light the spinners, also you can light the spinners off the skill shot. It's on a timer so it won't stay lit for very long, whenever you see the orange lights in front of the spinners flashing try and shoot the spinner, each one will award points to your end of ball bonus. So as I said a lot of this game is based on drop targets and how the drop targets um, interact with the game. Um, so. I've explained the spades a little bit. Anytime you knock down all the spades, it lights the ramp for jackpot. Whenever you light down all of the diamonds, it lights um, the capture shot, which is on the right-hand side. It's not an orbit, but I suppose you could call it that. It goes through the spinner up into the back into a kicker that locks the ball and then releases one immediately. As soon as you hit a switch, both balls come out and you have multi-ball. Uh, the whole play field is times by your multi-ball multiplier, which is down in the middle here. Uh, and you can advance that by rolling through the lit lane up at the top, one or two choices. You don't have lane change, sadly, on those, so it's pure luck. Um, the lit lane will change based on uh, jet bumper hits, so it'll just alternate. After that, you do have a very cool feature in the middle. You have a drop target right in between the flippers uh, that can pop up and save the ball. You activate that by shooting just the very bottom diamond targets. Um, so anytime you get those down, this spade will pop up. Um, this game is going to be going into a tournament, so I've got it set very mean. Um, there is a timer on that drop target, so after a while it will pop down again. Um, but I think for normal settings it just stays up until it's hit, obviously, or you lose the ball. Uh, you have a kickback as well. The kickback is activated by this lane here. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you because the balls on this game, it's very bizarre, roll on top of the plastics. So the ramps are kind of like the plastics. So it's a bit strange, but underneath this plastic you have a lane that comes through, rolling through the lights, uh, the kickback. Again, that's normally lit for the rest of the ball, but on this setting that it's on, it's only lit on, um, it's only lit for a certain amount of time. 
Now the royal flush value, I'll just explain, get rid of all these drop targets. So the royal flush value is based on the uh, hearts targets which are behind all of the drop targets. So you've got two on this side, two on this side and then one up in the middle. Um, you'll see these match the inserts that go around. Shooting down all of those targets will light the inserts and build up your royal flush value that's in the middle. Starts off at 100,000 points, then it goes to 250,000, extra ball, and then special. Uh, you can have that set to remain for the whole game, or just for the ball. Again, because this is going in a tournament, it's set to be really mean, so um, that will reset between balls. When you complete every single drop target bank, uh, all of the targets will pop back up, and then the spades will automatically drop back down, leaving you with the diamonds. Now this is the diamond hurry up feature. Uh, I think it starts off at 4 million, I'll have to double check while we play it. Um, but that is a hurry up, so obviously the value decreases really quickly. What the game wants you to do is hit down all of the diamond drop targets. Uh, if you manage to do that, it will pause on the countdown, award you the points, and then you rinse and repeat, so it'll pop all the targets back up, drop the spades, leave you the diamonds, and you have to clear the diamonds again. That starts whenever you clear every single drop target bank. Um, another way to get the drop targets to reset is by completing the Royal Flush. So let's say Let's say it's like this, so we've got two drop targets left. If we hit all of the targets here, which for the Royal Flush value will progress our Royal Flush, um, that will then raise the drop target banks up again so it clears the value. So ideally, you want to hit all of the diamonds before hitting all of these targets, the stand-up targets. Um, just because the diamond hurry up does seem to be the most valuable way of scoring uh, big points on this machine. Supposedly, if you can hit all of the diamond targets and nothing else, so you leave all of the spades up, Supposedly it doubles your score. Um, I haven't quite tested that. Um, it seems to be, <laughs> I don't know, that seems absolutely impossible to me. Um, the ball flies around like crazy. As soon as you hit one, it's just ricocheting everywhere. Um, if you get lucky and hit all the diamonds down and nothing else, maybe it does double your score. Um, maybe it's something that I can check out uh, before posting the video. But anyway, um, off the top of my head, I think that's about everything. It's quite a confusing machine. So we will give it a game and see what else we can figure out. So this is the diamond hurry mode, uh, you'll know that's going because the music will change. So the ramp's lit to collect jackpot letters. So the ramp was lit to collect jackpot letters, uh, we had all the spades, uh, the diamonds, sorry, which we needed to hit, and I didn't hit any. So this is lit the spinners. So all the diamonds are down, we've now got uh, the capture ready on the right hand lane. Apologies if you can hear a lawnmower in the background, my neighbour has very kindly just decided to start mowing his lawn. Uh, 
I think we'll do one more game, just because uh didn't really get to explain very much that time. as if going up the ramp drops all of the spades on the right hand bank. Okay, that's interesting. So going up the ramp drops all the spade targets on the right hand side. Going through that lane drops more on the left. Uh, rather interesting. I'll do one more just because we haven't got multiple yet and I did want to show you that so uh, we'll try one more. I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> never mind. And there we have it. That was Gottlieb's wonderful Diamond Lady from 1988. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't because it really helps the channel. And I should look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.